Good afternoon. Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa. The other day we did a video and we were showing how we were running that 127,000 BTU pool heater heat pump off of this 12 kilowatt low frequency off grid grow watt inverter. We were running that where we were running it on the solar first and then we were having the grid pick up when the solar wasn't enough. It would help charge it up. If it dropped down to 48 volts, it would, the grid would kick on. It would drop, bring it up to 54 volts. Then it would shut off and then it would come back down again to 48 volts and then kick back on. That's one way of being able to split it to where you're doing that. Cause right now, um, we can do the solar off of this, but we're going to have to move panels around. So we're getting better exposure to be able to get those 6,000 watts that we need. And that's kind of hard in the winter time, this time of the year, because I don't have a good Southern exposure at all. So we're trying some different things out. Um, last night, yesterday morning, we ran the 18,000 pool heater, heat pump during the day with solar. And then we plugged it in at night into the grid power just into our regular outlet right there for our grid and it cost us about a dollar ten to be able to run that overnight it uses about eight nine hundred watts so wasn't bad i plugged it in around 5 p.m on the grid and pulled it off at eight o'clock in the morning so it really wasn't that bad um and we were able to do that and be able to maintain the temperature overnight without running our uh, 127,000 BTU pool heater heat pump. So we were working on using that to maintain it at nighttime and raise it a few degrees during the day. The other thing I wanted to show you is we are using this one in the summertime for a four ton heat pump air conditioner for downstairs and a three and a half ton heat pump for upstairs and we have that wired in to the electrical panels over here and these are grounded and bonded so right here is the breaker that we use for our four ton heat pump ac and over here is our breaker, which is turned off for our three and a half ton heat pump AC for upstairs. Now, what we were doing with that was we had AC disconnect boxes out there, two of them. One was for solar, one was for the grid. And during the day, we would have the fuse pole with the fuses into the solar one. And at five o'clock, we take it out of the solar, put it in the grid and run the air conditioners overnight on the grid from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. And then it would run from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the solar. And we were able to keep our bill down to the highest bill we had this last year was in August and it was $172. It was like 140 some on the month before it in July and September was like 142. So it kept our bill down without that if we were running on the grid constantly it'd be like 600 bucks a month or more so what we have this set up as when we're running our heat pump for that pool off of the solar we have it i'm going to use this one because the settings are exactly the same on these two grow watts doesn't matter that this is six kilowatt and this is 12 kilowatt when you go in here um, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to show you on this one. If we go in here and we press enter, we'll get into the first number one setting right here, and it's set up on solar. So we running that pool heat pump or the um, AC heat pumps for the house upstairs and downstairs, we'll have that on solar during the day. But right now, if we want to be able to run this pool heater on the um, grid, on this one, when we go in there, 
we see that it's set up on utility. And right now we're just running this on utility without the solar. So if you look on here, there's a power line right there, like a telephone pole, and it comes over and it brings it over to our load, completely bypasses. Uh, it's hooked up to that. It's charging our batteries as well right now. But like I said, right now we're running that on this. And instead of pulling a fuse pole out there on those AC disconnects, we're just able to switch it over on the settings in this. So what we would do is we would press this for the enter right here. And then we'd go over here and switch it over to utility. And then we would press enter. And when that one's flashing, we could get out of it, go back. And now we're running off of utility. If we wanted to switch it back to solar, instead of using those fuse poles, go in here while this O1 is blinking, that's the first setting. We press that. Now the utility is blinking and we press up or down to get back to solar, press our enter, and our number one is flashing again, and we're back on solar, and we just get out of there by pressing the escape button right there. So right now we're running that pool heat pump off the grid, and if you look on here, oops, don't have it turned on, go, if we look on that, oops, I'm trying to make sure you can see that. We are running 24 and a half amps on that leg. And if we go over to this leg, once again, we're running 24.4 amps on that leg right now. So the way we have this wired up, is that wire right here, this one with the white tape on it, and this one, that is actually coming into the input power from the grid, and then this red, green, and black wire right there is the output, and we have a breaker on here, a switch right here, for the input, and these two is for the output. So, the input comes in here from the grid on the white tape and the red one on these two wires. And right here, the output goes over, runs all the way over here. Like I said, it goes up to this breaker, this 50 amp breaker right here. Goes through this breaker, goes out this, this flexible conduit here and runs all the way over to that 127,000 BTU heat pump. And that's how we're powering this up. So we don't have to mess with that AC disconnect at all anymore, like I said, because all we have to do is go into the here, hit this one setting and change it from solar to utility on the number one setting. And we can just bypass that all together. Really easy to do it here. It takes two seconds and you're done. So if we go outside and we look, out here, we have this set up. Right now we have this temporarily set up. This is the grid coming in to this AC disconnect. And these are the wires, that one with the white tape and the red wire for the input. Those are them just sitting there temporarily because I wanted to be able to show this to you before I go in, um, wire it in with the conduit. Like this one over here the other day was like these wires bare and exposed. So we ran the conduit into this AC disconnect box and this AC, um, Disconnects box on this side goes to the pool heat pump over there. That's our 127,000 BTU pool heat pump. And so even though these are set up on a separate box, this is what's going into that 
uh, breaker box panel for that 50 amp breaker. So um, we're being powered either by the solar or the grid and it's coming in, the solar's coming in right here and the grid is coming in right here. This grid goes in here, comes out, goes into our input, goes into our output into the breaker box and from the breaker box runs over here and then goes from right here out of this DC or AC disconnect into our heat pump. So if we look on here, we have our 24 amps on that leg and 24 amps on that leg. Like I said, we ran this conduit. This was bare wires. And we ran that conduit underneath those pavers there where this will go underneath the pavers as well. And we ran it around. We had to go through this channel that's in between this cool crete and the concrete and it's actually there and it comes out right here. This piece of flexible conduit right here runs along the length of that house, turns the corner and goes in the garage. Now, over here on this, this thing's running right now and it's using those 48, 49 amps. So the See if I can get this so you can see it. The temperature is set at 65. The inlet water temperature of the pool is 57 degrees right now. Yesterday morning it was 49. We ran this 127,000 BTU pool heater heat pump for an hour yesterday. And we ran this 24 hours. We ran this till 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, for 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. on solar and battery. And then we ran it from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. on our grid. And right now, let's see if I can get in there close. Oops, there we go. We have the temperature is coming in at 65 and going out at 66. And so the water from that pool pump travels here, goes into this pool heat pump, the big one, 127,000 BTU, comes in at 57 degrees, goes out, runs right here, it goes right there, and it comes in right here, and it comes in at 65, and then it goes out at 66. So then that goes out of this and back into the pool through our pool pump. So we should be able to get this to about 60 degrees. So in two days, that will raise our water temperature about 11 degrees, and it will probably have cost us about $2.50 total for two days. And that's increasing the temperature. And then at nighttime, we just run this little 18,000 BTU pool heater to maintain our temperature overnight with that pool cover on right there. And then in the morning, if it's 60 degrees tonight, we'll have that thing running. Instead of me dropping three to five degrees, if I didn't have it running, by just running that overnight, it's costing it a little bit over a dollar to run that overnight on the grid. That'll maintain that temperature. So uh, we're getting that slowly up to be where we should be able to get it up to around 88, 90 degrees is where we like it. So, just wanted to show you that instead of running this, we have this wired as for this three and a half ton um, heat pump AC for upstairs. We have this coming in from the garage from the uh, breaker panel, and that's on a 30 amp. So, we have that coming into this. This is a solar. And then from this 
AC disconnect, we have that wired in over to here where we can, when the fuse is in this one, it's running on the grid. When the fuse is on this one, it's running on the solar. But I only have one fuse for this. So it's either in the solar or it's in the grid. Same thing for this four ton um, heat pump that we have. This is the grid, that's the solar. So it's either in the solar and it's running on the solar, or we pull the fuse pull out of there and we put it into this one. So we can't have it trying to run off of both of them because I only have one fuse pull for each one of these. And this is a different, those two right here are completely different from this. This fuse disconnect will not fit into this box. So we have that set up. And it's the same thing over here. We don't, these are two different fuse poles. So this fuse pole will not fit into this one and this fuse pole will not fit into that one. So just wanted to show you that and show you how it's going and give you another option there that you could just go in and hit one setting in your off-grid inverter and you can change it from solar to grid or from grid back to solar just a couple of seconds and you're done you don't have to mess with pulling a fuse pull out of this it's really nice so just want to show you that i hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day and we will see you again on diy solar power with papa have a blessed day